Good morning, I'm meteorologist Jesse Gwen. Uh, thanks for logging on to WEEK.com, the 25 Weather Tracker mobile app. So as we go through Friday, the pattern change taking over. Scattered showers and storms come our direction. We're talking about temperatures in the upper 70s, maybe close to that 80 degree mark. Scattered showers and storms, as mentioned, front lifting across the area. That's bringing in the warmth and moisture. Wouldn't be surprised if we uh, have a couple of these be a little on the strong side. Now I have backed down our chances during the evening hours just a smidge uh, for that uh, severe potential. I uh, just am not certain that we'll be able to uh, get that energy given that earlier scattered shower thunderstorm activity. Often when we get early uh, scattered showers and storms in the day, uh, that will uh, lower our temperatures and take away that uh, warmth variable that we need for those stronger storms later on. Nonetheless, Storm Prediction Center still has us that slight risk of severe activity. That's along and west of I-55. That's two out of five on the scale. Severe weather threats look like this. Flooding, uh, my greatest uh, concern that I've got on there, but of course we do have to include all the other other uh, parameters given what we've seen uh, looking at our uh, forecast models and taking our uh, knowledge of the uh, setup that we have in place. After that, we're talking about uh, the continuing rainfall front after front, bringing us uh, showers and storms upwards of two to three plus inches of rain total possible even just through the weekend. That's not counting all the stuff that's still left to come through uh, most of Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday as we have those daily chances continuing. And eventually, I promise you, the unsettled weather leaves and more fall like conditions come back in place. We could talk highs in the low to mid 60s possible a week out. We'll keep you up to date on air and online. I'm meteorologist Jesse Gwynn.